my, um, I'm just showing you some of my pages that I'm doing. I'm working on um, a scrapbook of just vacation stuff because I haven't, I've been neglecting all my vacation photos because there's always so many of them. I have a hard time picking out which ones I want to develop and put in the scrapbook because I only usually develop, you know, enough for one page. But um, I decided I would do a vacation one so I'd have multiple pages to scrapbook with. And this I went to Traverse City with my boyfriend um, and their family, uh, which is like a little beach community way up north in Michigan. And um, this is going to be, I'm going to do a little cover page for each one of the places I've gone. And so I cut this out with Storybook, I believe. Or no, I could be lying about this. I did this a while ago, I can't even remember. Um, so this is all cut out with the Cricut. These are like the little gems. And this is a sticker that's wood. A little Adirondack chair and the paper is die cuts with a view and it's shimmery and beachy colored and then I just inked up the edges so that's my cover page and then I actually I'm having crafters block with this page I started and I did some stitching around the edges and I added these little stickers and stuff um, of us just hanging out around the bonfire up there but I don't and I didn't attach these because I didn't I made them like weathered and I inked them with white and I, um, I like to stress the edges and stuff and tied the twine around it, but I don't really know what to put in these spaces because I don't really have a lot to journal about it because we were just hanging out by the bonfire and it was a while ago I don't even remember what we talked about or what we did. So if you have any ideas of what I can put in those boxes, let me know. So I got that and then this is us hanging out on the beach with his new little um, with his niece. I don't know if I just said that. <laughs> um, but I did little cutouts in the corners, inked the edges, did some journaling. And this is like string. And I cut this out with a, um, a punch. And that's just grow green ribbon on the side. And the paper is all DCW for this whole I'm trying, I'm going to stick with one paper line, I think, for each vacation. So, and the, the place we stayed at was Spider Lake ret Retreat. Um, and this is a hotel that we stayed at down the street because there wasn't enough room in this house because his family is quite big. So, and these are just buttons that I put some twine on um, and layered different paper. So that's that page. And then the reason I'm showing you these pages to begin with is because of this page. Um, DCWV had a contest that you had to follow a template and they provided the template and this was my version of that template that I entered into the contest and I actually ended up winning. So it's my first scrapbook comp contest that I've ever entered. So I was really excited. I was actually stalking her blog for a week you know, every single day trying to find out if she would post the winner yet because I was really hoping it would be me. Um, but I used dimensional stickers and we, I wove this ribbon in. And the last day is actually a rub-on. And I, um, I just stressed all the edges around these and then this like polka dot paper and I did inking around all the edges of everything. Um, so this is what I entered and I ended up winning. And for my prize, Aaron sent me the trade win stack. So I'll just show you that really quick. And I was excited because it was a stack I didn't have. I was actually at work when I was checking her blog, which was probably a no-no, but I was doing it anyways. And I like screamed <laughs> after I read that I was a winner. I was like, oh my God, I won. And all the girls in the office, I had told them all about it all about the contest so they were like oh my god you know everyone was all like really excited for me so um yeah so that was my page and then I actually really liked the template so much that I decided to do another version of the temp the same template for my Florida picture so this is my boyfriend and his mother and grandma and me um on our Florida vacation uh, we were at a little, we stopped at a little winery down there. So I did Brad's at the top. Again, I inked pretty much everything, made it look old. These are tin, 
like tin stickers or metal. It says wine. And then this is one of those little brads that I just showed you in right here in the haul video. So I just layered the flowers. And this was from, I think, a Three Birds scrapbook kit. Simple Moments Make Great Memories. And you know what's funny is I actually, I think I like this one better. <laughs> but this is the one that won the contest, so. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks. Oh, and I forgot to tell everyone, the reason that I've got so much of these backed up treats that I haven't shown, I haven't done any videos lately, is because over the weekend, um, on Saturday, my boyfriend took me up to Michigan State, which is where I graduated from school, and there's um, a tower up there called the Beaumont Tower that's a clock tower, and it's there's a legend that you're not really a true Spartan until you kiss under the clock tower at midnight, and so I've been begging my boyfriend to take me up there um, so that I can be a true Spartan forever, and um, he's always said no because he is a fan of the rival college, U of M, um, but he surprised me and told me we were going up there for a formal for his family who also graduated from state. So I got all dressed up, whatever, we get up there, and we go to the clock tower, and he proposed. So he surprised me under the clock tower. Um, so that's why I haven't shown any of my goodies lately. But um, hopefully I'll be back and posting some more regular stuff. Um, now that some of the excitement's worn down, even though now that all the planning is going underway and we're trying to do a plan an engagement party in under a month with all my, my friends and family and stuff, they're all in different states. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching.